guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be doing part two of recreating iconic celebrity photo shoots. If you're new to my channel, make sure you are subscribed, join the family. I make new videos every Tuesday and Friday and make sure you have notifications on. I'm always hanging out in the comments in the first hour of a new video. So I love chatting with you guys, hearing what you think about it. Make sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. So let's get into this video. The first photo we're recreating is Ariana Grande's iconic album cover where she's somehow balancing on this stool. I remember when this album got released and everyone on Twitter was like trying to figure out how the heck she balanced on this stool. I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out because I'm gonna have to do it. So we just finished my makeup for the look and now we need to go get my hair into that high signature Ariana ponytail. But of course I have short hair and it's gonna look a little bit different. The thing with these videos is I'm not trying to look like Ariana Grande. I'm just trying to look like me and recreate her photo on my body with my hair and face and everything else that makes me unique. So I'm super excited to do this first shot. I would not be able to do any of this stuff on my own. We've got a whole little team here. I introduced you guys to the whole crew in part one of this video. We've got Ruben on the camera, Tony doing photos, Skylar doing costumes and making everything happen, and Stephanie doing my hair and makeup, and then me being the model for the day. So uh, I'm gonna go get my hair in a high pony and figure out how the heck to balance on a stool. Let's do it. All right, the hair, the outfit, everything has come together. We're actually using ruffled swimsuit bottoms instead of like the little shorts she was wearing because they had a little ruffle. This was as close of a thing as we could find. The top is just like a little square crop top. I feel like we recreated the outfit pretty well. Stephanie did an amazing job with the hair. We even got the little like wrap around the pony. Very Ariana. My hair is obviously shorter than Ariana's, so it's gonna look a little bit different, but I'm excited. Um, I also have to wear white heels, but I think I'm gonna try to get on the stool before I put the heels on, I think that should make it easier, hopefully. I'm like, I don't know, I'm usually so confident in like my body, but I'm a little bit insecure about this one because it's like sitting, oh, my yeah. thighs are smushed, my stomach's gonna be smushed, but. Wait. Even taking the test shot, because I was sitting in for you, I was like, these are the most unflattering pictures that <laughs> yes. I've ever seen. I was like, I feel like I'm usually in your boat too, where I'm yeah. like, it's fine, it's a test shot, but I was like, please delete those. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that is messy. I'm really gonna have to love my curves, my chub, mm -hmm. my thighs, my tummy in this one. So this is gonna be a body positivity lesson as well. <laughs> okay, so knees okay. up here. There you go. Okay. You got it. And then sit back. Yep. There this you go. feels literally, it looks like I'm like squatting to like poop or something. <laughs> yeah. Like that? There you it's go. actually pretty on point. And if you can relax your butt a little bit back. So we're just gonna do a few test shots and we're gonna see uh, how and then this you'll is looking. Want your face pointing this way. Okay. There you yeah. Go. All right. Let's see <laughs> how she's looking. Okay. Wow. Wait, that's really good. <laughs> actually, it's kind of yeah. iconic. And then just cheat out like you're, there you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. And nice. then Roll that shoulder back a little bit if you can. There, yeah, you, go. there you go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Beautiful, Sierra. Let's get a few more. Yes. Hold it. All the angles. Yes. And then, all right. We all right, rest, rest, rest. Yeah, yeah. We, we absolutely got it. <laughs> we absolutely got we it. We have one in there. Okay, so it's a few weeks later. The photos are in. Let's take a look at my recreation of Ariana Grande's My Everything album cover. Somehow Ariana makes this pose look so effortless and glamorous, but let me tell you, balancing on that stool is no small feat. Oh my gosh, it was so uncomfortable. Such like an awkward positioning. I think Skylar had it right. This might be one of the most unflattering poses Ever. It definitely highlights some of the things that I'm still learning how to love about my body. You know, I'm still on this body positive journey. I'm still making strides and learning to love myself, but this photo makes me realize how far I've actually come. That I can look at this photo and be okay with my tummy and some cellulite on my legs. Like that's me and I'm okay with it. And a couple years ago, that would not have been the case. So I'm really proud of myself for still liking this photo, even though I don't look like Ariana Grande. Ariana looks absolutely stunning and effortless and beautiful in this photo, but just because I don't look like her doesn't mean I still can't be beautiful too. All right, shot number two. We are recreating the iconic Beyonce pregnancy announcement photo. So Beyonce obviously looks like Beyonce in this photo, which is 10 out of 10, amazing. She's beautiful, she's glowing, everything. But I feel like there's this whole thing where women are only allowed to love their stomachs if they're pregnant. Like if you're not pregnant, your stomach needs to be flat, 
Like don't draw attention to it, hide it, cover it up. And uh, we're gonna totally like go against that social norm today. And I'm not pregnant. Guys, seriously, I'm not pregnant, I promise. But that doesn't mean I can't love my tummy, I can't hold my tummy, I can't embrace my stomach. And that's what we're gonna do with this photo. It's not gonna be a pregnancy photo, it's just gonna be a little bit of self-love up in here. Okay, so pause real quick. While I was editing this, I realized that this bra looks so much more revealing than it actually is. I'm wearing separate beige colored coverage under the bra, so you're not seeing as much skin as you actually think you're seeing. So uh, yeah, don't worry, there's not gonna be a nip slip. I got coverage, it's just subtle, but yeah, anyways, back into it. Beyonce has this really bright kind of pink lip that I didn't notice when we were first planning the photo, but I feel like we got a pretty good match and sky you have to see the DIY she did for this background. She made this beautiful floral wall to match and she got a green tulle veil to put over my face like Beyonce had. We've got the blue paper roll, the green paper roll. So I think we're gonna get pretty close to recreating this. It's definitely not gonna look like as glamorous and perfect as Beyonce's did. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be dollar store Beyonce today. Let's get into it. So sorry, top hand is up or down? Uh. So, down, down. Uh, up, cool. Yeah. I think hands are pretty good. Yeah. Bring this one a little bit lower. It's actually tucked more Under, underneath. Yeah. yeah. She's like, yeah, kind of crossing the stomach a little bit. But um, beyond that, I think right now it's just tension in the eyes, and I think okay. everything else else will kind of come to fruition. So good. Perfect. Yeah. Do it. my not pregnant pregnancy photo. Let's see the final product. I absolutely love this photo, both my version and Beyonce's. Like it's just so powerful and regal and self-loving. I feel like way too often I try to hide my stomach and pull attention away from it. But with this photo, it's like, I'm touching it. Here it is. This is me. This is real. This is me. Can't rock anyone. Nope. Okay. Just me. Point being, I like this photo. It's real, it's honest, it's not hiding anything or drawing attention away from my stomach. I think doing this shoot and this photo in particular was a really good reminder for me that it's okay to have a stomach, even if you're not pregnant, like you don't always have to hide it. Okay, for our third and final look, we're doing something a little bit like sillier than the first two. I am gonna recreate this photo of Ashley Tisdale on the red carpet in the early 2000s. This outfit has so many layers. So I've got the flared jeans, the gold glittery skirt, blue tank top, and Skylar recreated her dream baby shirt with transfer paper, so we even have that detail. I've got the bangles that are super loud. I'm trying not to move my arms so it doesn't mess up the audio. I've got a feather necklace and gold flats as well. And I actually even have one more necklace to put on, a big like blue one, but I didn't want it to be too loud while I'm like talking, so I'm gonna put that on right before we film. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that we're gonna be ending on like a silly, fun one. We're gonna take this picture on the green green screen so that we can like edit the background to look like I'm on the red carpet. This outfit was definitely kind of hard to track down. Like there's just so many elements to it, but uh, I think we got it. Let's go try to recreate this photo. Okay, so you want right foot out. Right foot out. Kind of bent at an angle. Hand on hip, leaning back. <laughs> like pelvis first. Pelvis first. And then like straight leg. Straight arm. Arm and head is towards, towards the, piano the piano purse. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Also, one of the big problems we're having with this outfit is that the transfer paper is kind of coming off since my boobs stretched out the shirt when we put it on. So if you see me doing this a lot, I'm not just grabbing myself. I'm trying to keep the transfer paper on. It's a look. It's the last look. We're gonna make it work. Cute, 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 cute. Do we see her elbow at all in this little shot here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's almost. Oh. Wow, this wow. is a complex <laughs> pose for the red carpet. Yeah. For you, Ashley, yes. <laughs> yeah, Sharpay Evans. <laughs> we stand. Oh the weirdest thing about this is that I can't switch up my
my pose because I feel like usually during photo shoots I'm like move, 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 move and instead I'm just like this, yeah, and yeah, pose. <laughs> really good actually. Yay! Yeah. yeah, I think that's like literally. Perfect. Oh wow. <laughs> Like, that is like spot on. Right that is there. so good. My we God. can't even yes. tell that the transfer paper. Is oh my God. No. No. Oh no, it blends right in. That's fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sierra Schultze, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> Oh man, okay, this photo might be the biggest reveal because there's so much editing that went into it. So here we have me and Ashley Tisdale on the red carpet circa 2009. I loved doing one that was just ridiculous and silly and so much fun. One of you guys recommended I recreate this photo on Instagram and I couldn't help myself. It was too much fun. I think moving forward with this series, if I do another episode, I always want to do at least one like fun, silly one like I did with the Ashley Tisdale photo. Because uh, yeah, sometimes it's fun just not to take yourself so seriously and rock a piano purse. So if you guys do want to see another episode of me recreating celebrity photos, let's get this video to 15,000 likes. 15,000 likes and I will do another episode in March recreating celebrity photos that you guys recommend in the comments of this video and over on my Instagram. So if you do want to be a part of videos like this where I ask you guys for your recommendations, make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's usually where I post that kind of stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be confident, love your body, and I will see you on Tuesday with another new one. Bye!